have an interdivision series here between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. Game two of a three-game series pitching for the Indians is Carlos Carrasco, who, who in two starts is 2-0 with a 1.88 ERA. And pitching for Tigers is Daniel Norris, who's 0-1 in two starts with an ERA in the seventh. As top of a first, Carrasco has Nick Castellanos swinging at a bad one. Michael Brantley will go down swinging, but he's actually swinging at a good pitch. As Jose Ramirez, the next batter after Brantley, would hit it down the line just fair. So two runners on the corners with one out. And then Edwin Encarnacion would do something similar, but just to left field. And once again, runners on the corners with one out. But a run scores. So now two outs. It is Rolani Chisenhall. And they got him looking. He's just a window shopper because he's just looking not swinging. Now second inning, Leonis Martino with an 0-2 count would be shop and gap. That would be a triple for Leonis Martin as he would indeed make it to third base. He is certainly very speedy, but the Tigers couldn't get anything. So Yonder Alonso bottom second with a runner on, and he would take that one deep. Yonder Alonso with a two-run shot, his second home run of the season. And the Indians would make their lead bigger, 3 to nothing. So Rajay Davis now up with one out. He would just swing a little blooper. Not a great pitch to swing out. But he would outrun the hit. And that would be a base hit. As the second inning would finally end. No, it wouldn't. As Leonis Martin completely botched it. Rajay Davis would score from first. Just did not seem like the Tigers tried on defense. We'll have another situation like that later in the game. As Alexi Amarista would get a line out to short. Lindor would get it to Ramirez for the double play. So fourth inning, starting with Yonder Alonso, who hit the home run earlier. And he hits it to almost the exact same spot, just it's not a home run. And Yonder Alonso would make it to third with a triple, despite the fact that he's certainly not the fastest. And then Francisco Mejia, the top catcher prospect, would score him home, and the game is now 5 0 Indians. So now two outs, two runners on for Edwin Encarnacion, and he would get a base hit, scoring a runner. That would end Daniel Norris's day, and Kirby St. John would enter the game. And Kirby St. John pretty much pitched the same amount of innings as Daniel Norris. Norris pitched 3.2 innings, and I think St. John did 3.1 innings. As Miguel Cabrera would get a nice base hit. He's had an okay season so far. So bottom six, two runners on and two outs for Mickey Madhook. And he would go down looking on strikes. Did not like that one. And Carrasco keeps on rolling as Lindor, or not Lindor, Mejia, sorry, Ron Francisco, would go down looking nice one from Kirby St. John, but it seems like He's starting to fall apart in the 7th innings. The 5th and 6th inning, he got by easily, but the Indians would score, making it 8 nothing. So now Yonder Alonso up, and he would end the 7th inning. That would also end Kirby St. John's day. Oh, wait! Alexi Amarista completely botched it, and now it's 9 nothing. 8th inning, Justin Wilson is pitching for Detroit. As Jose Iglesias would ground it to Lindor. The Indians will get the beautiful double play. Uh, they just keep on rolling. Bottom eight, Rajay Davis would go down on swinging. So would Michael Brantley. So ninth inning, Carlos Carrasco still in the game. But that would change as Mickey Madhook would want this one deep. And the Tigers would get some respectability runs on a two-run shot from Madhook. Carrasco would exit the game, but he did enough damage. And that's how the game would end. The Indians would blow out the Tigers by a final score of 9-2. to two. Yeah.